Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Lands on a beautiful morning here with the big Unimog and the trailer and another load of bales. So this is actually my third load out of the fields. Um, I went and cut everything, everything that we own, built it up, and uh, we have some work to do. So we're going to ba uh, bale in. Jeez, I have so many bales, so many bales. We've made... 1300 bales already on this map so I am I am bailed out uh, no we are going to plow in uh, the fields and get those going I've already bought the plow it's already on the John Deere that's going to be our usage for today and this is just this is just the icing on the cake I guess <laughs> so we are actually going to go ahead and uh, park this guy up or not the Unimog but the trailer in the bottom uh, we don't need it or the New Holland baler anymore. I am, I am over the little bales. <laughs> so uh, we we have done so many, and I'm really like, it's just so many. Uh, yeah, we're going to move up to bigger bales on our next harvest. Uh, we have currently cut down 27 whole trees, so we're doing pretty good on our you know not doing as much environmental damage as we can, but. Uh, yeah, let me get back down the farm. Let's get the deer fired up, and we'll get going. All right, now we just need to find a place to park this thing and the baler. Again, we're going to try to keep everything. I do plan on building that little museum thing at some point. So, the bottom. What are we going to consider the bottom? Because that's going to be something. Well, we'll leave it down here for now. It's not like it's not movable. It hasn't grown into the weeds yet. Also, I did pick up a rogue log, so that's a thing. Any hoozle, John Deere time, plowing time. So here we got a big six bottom plow. I'm really hoping this tractor can pull it. It only requires 90 horsepower, and we make about 30 more than that. So we should be good, right? Yeah, that's uh, that's how this works, isn't it? Although this thing is starting to hang up on gears, so I don't know if she's getting beat up or what. It's only got 16 hours on it, so it should be fine. I mean, it's old with 16 hours on it. That's like. 0.2 hours for every year of its existence or something so I think I think it's fine but I'm gonna go ahead and try to create this field first and then I've expanded the other one out as far as it can possibly go so we are going to maximize land today uh, let's see here I need to hit Y to create fields B to lower seems to pull it. I mean, it's not going to be fast by any means. It is a plow. I don't know what the working speed is supposed to be on this thing. But, this is a lot faster than our other one, so I will take that any day of the week. And this will be the first time that we've created uh, a new field outside of uh, that little guy right there, which is also getting done today. So, we're going to be massive. Now, this doesn't mean that we're done with our baling altogether. It just means I'm done with the small bales. Uh, we are going to replant probably this field as grass. That way it's actual grass instead of uh, instead of meadow. And that should help out productivity a lot. Uh, I'm hoping to see a ton more production from that. So we'll see. We'll see exactly what happens. I just want to make sure that my my lines here are straight. If this tractor doesn't do better pulling it, then I'll put it on the case. Or the farm all. What, what are we calling that thing? Farm all. Yes. Words. So 
So what do you guys think of the series so far? Hopefully everybody is enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun on this map. It has been nice just being able to build things. I like making things pretty, so hopefully you guys kind of like the farm area that we're, we're setting up here and getting going. Uh, as we continue to expand, I hope that my vision for things is a little bit more easily explained than what it currently is, because right now I'm sure it is a little bit of a jumbled mess for you guys trying to understand what I got going on in my head. So, uh, on that note, we are doing a ton, ton better on views per day. We're up to 250 views a day uh, across all the videos, so that's like a thing that is currently happening. Apparently I didn't make YouTube too awful mad. So, uh, you know, you guys liking the videos and subscribing and everything like that, that really does help. Um, if you haven't already, please do like the video and do subscribe if you're new here. And if you're new, welcome. Say hi down in the comments. It'd be nice to have you. But, uh, yeah, things are on the up and up for once. I mean, we are, you know, I've, I've released some clickbaity videos before and they've done better. But uh, on just general, general videos... What, what are you trying to do here? What are you doing here, guy? Go back in the ground. We, we got work to do. Push the throttle level up. We gotta go. Come on. Let's go. Little guy. But yeah, uh, this is gonna take a bit. So yeah, we're gonna do a, a time lapse for this. But uh, yes, I do want to say thank you to everybody that has, you know, come into the channel recently. I thought that maybe I was too late and could not save this. So, you know, it is a wonderful thing to see. And this tractor is really, really underpowered. Like, it should be able to pull this. It's not like we're digging down 24 inches. It's like we're not even doing a lot here. <laughs> I don't know why it's on the struggle bus. Maybe she just is wore out, kind of stuck in second. But we are going uphill, and this is a an okay grade. I mean, it's not like super hardcore or anything, so we need to get into something a little bit more modern, you know, instead of the 70s, can we get into, like, the late 80s? <laughs> something with a full cab. <laughs> Air conditioning, please, I'm fat. Help. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to get this done. Uh, I need to speed up time because I'm a big idiot. And, uh, We'll see you guys here in just a second whenever we get everything finished. I did have some stern words with the shop manager, so we're going to uh, take John Deere back up to him. I bought a different plow, and they're going to do a full service on the John Deere and try to bring it back up. Uh, you know, I brought up the, it's hanging in seventh, it won't shove up in the high gear, uh, not having any kind of power. You know, it's supposed to be our biggest tractor, and it pulls less hard than our truck. So, we're going to get that thing loaded up, and I'll get that taken up there. And we'll pick up the new plow, and hopefully everything will work this time. So they say they know what's wrong. They think the injection pump is out of time, and that's what's causing us to have low horsepower. And this is the plow that they ended up selling us. So we did a a trade of sorts. I ended up having to pay a little bit more uh, whenever we turned it in the other one. But uh, they assure me that the tractor will be able to pull this. So if it doesn't, your boy might be a little upset today. So it's going to be a few hours. 
Uh, we're just going to have to hang out. I'm going to go ahead and park up the Unimog. It needs service here anyway, and we'll just get it taken care of too. Okay, it definitely sounds better. They had a cab kit they threw in for free. Um, but other than that, should be good to go. Let's get it back down to the farm. This is just taking up so much of my day. Hopefully they get to the Mog and get it done. It's holding the hill on 8th. At least that. Still a little sticky on the shift. I won't blame them for that. I mean, that's just a big internal thing. Hopefully, hopefully the rest of this just... Hopefully it just works. That's the... That's the plan, anyway. Oh, we're already going faster. Can we hit fourth? Still a lot better than what we were doing before, so I won't complain none. Let's see if we can actually get this knocked out today. That took uh, much longer than what I thought. Even with the uh, fixed, big quotation marks there, fixed power output, it's still very, very lacking. Um, we're like first, second gear all the time, and it's not a fun time. I may actually take the time. I mean, we own some tools. I might try to fix it. I'm not saying that the mechanics at the shop are kind of dumb, but this one's, uh, she's a little weak. Let's just say that. She's a little weak. But, you know, it be what it be at this point. Um, we are going to go ahead and get out the farm all. And the cedar set. I want to go ahead and get uh, as much grass in the ground as I can. I don't know how many liters that's going to take. We've only got so much. Um, so, let's see here. We want grass. Is that one, right? Yeah. You know, my phone hasn't went off all day. And now that I'm speaking, in the whole hour I was plowing, my phone never went off. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. Variable seed rate is not available for grass. That is A-OK -okay with me. So hopefully, uh, replanting this field will start yielding us a lot better results. I think it will. Um, you know, we, we have been doing pretty good, but I want more money. Uh, what can I say? Hopefully this works. Are we planting? 
Yes, yes we are. I, th I just think it's funny that we can run this power hero and cedar behind this tractor and it's not like a big deal. It just kind of does its own thing. <laughs> it's a little ridiculous that uh, some of the other stuff is like, you need a two million horsepower to pull this one little thing. And it's like, that's not a thing that should exist. But, you know what, here we are. Um, hopefully, um, in the next episode, we can start working on our grain bin. And we'll get planting in the other field. Like I say, I am going to finish that up off camera because it is taking an amount of time. There we go. Yeah, this thing could upshift with the with everything running. So, you know, it'd be what it'd be. Uh, but yeah, I want to start working on getting the rain bin and getting these other two fields planted. We only have so many crops that we can plant. I might do a run of canola. We don't get the straw from that. So that's kind of a, uh, a bad look. So it might be barley. Uh, we really need to get into... Uh, some sort of animal as well. I'm thinking sheep. Sheep would be kind of fun. I uh, haven't really messed with them yet, and we have the space for them and the grazing land and everything else, so that might be a way to go. Uh, what else is there to talk about on this one? Hmm. I don't know, but our Unimog still isn't done. That, uh, that's enough to make a, a grown man upset, let me tell you that. Now I am hoping that, you know, with this we are, you know, done with bailing. And, and you know, yeah, I'll, I'll whip out the little baler again whenever this is done until we can get the big one. But, you know, that whole setback with the plow and, you know, having to pay for fixed in tractor or anything, that kind of uh, put a damper on a lot of different things so I'm not too awful excited about that hopefully hopefully we won't have to have another goof up like that again so it be what it be so let me do this and yeah I guess that's kind of where I'm going to end it for the day. There's not a whole lot going on. I know I normally try to finish up a job, and this one seems like, you know, I really just got sidetracked with the plow. Um, that kind of took up a lot of today's recording time. So, um, yeah, I know I'm saying um a lot. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's leave it there for today on this one. I know it doesn't look like we got a lot done. It feels like we didn't, but I think that we actually did. You know, we've, we figured out some problems that we were going to have, and uh, we got this guy uh, actually planting in today's episode, so that's always a plus. So hopefully in the next one, we'll be able to do something else, like... <laughs> Maybe uh, clear out a little bit more land for the, the farm as well. Um, we have more area to clean out. It is starting to look like something. I don't know exactly what. But before too long, we will be out of room. And that's kind of a scary thought. Um, you know, we're, we're only going to have three fields. Uh, we really need to get into field 13 and, you know, start getting that uh, ready. And... But that's like 180 grand, so we really need to have a few good days of me not spending all of our money on little side projects all the time. But these side projects do start to to pay it forward at some point. You know, we got the Unimog, so we can transport faster. We've got a shed now, so all of our stuff doesn't get ruined. Uh, harvester and everything in the last episode too. You know, we're we're making strides in the right direction um, and I know it can seem like we're spinning our wheels sometimes but every time we make an upgrade it's less time for the next one you know and and now you know at some point we'll hit a wall of 
well, we just need to, you know, have more fields rotating out and we'll hit a wall of growing time. And that's kind of where we're shooting for right now is, you know, we want to be up against that wall as much as we can. That way we can constantly be rotating in and out of crops and getting into uh, some larger and larger equipment, which compounds the problem even more and then more land and blah, blah, blah. So hopefully, hopefully, um, we're making the correct decisions. I think that we are. The farm is looking amazing. And yeah, that's uh, where I'm going to leave it at for today. Everybody, thank you very, very much for watching. Again, if you're new here, thank you for stopping by and giving this thing a chance. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody. Bye for now.